Well, in all honesty, you are known as one of the, the better, if not the best, rug coach in the competition. What would you put that down to? <laughs> What's your uh, Well, I've refused to go away over, over the years, so <laughs> I've just been here that long that I think that you just, you know, that just sort of happens. But yep. and what happened after I'd finished those state championships is then Rocket Ede rang me up and said, would I be interested in coming back in a coaching role here? the coaching role. So I actually, um, he said, we've got another candidate, and it was a bloke called Warren mm. Jones, a yep. bloke that played at Carlton called Wow. So we both interviewed for it, and I didn't get the job. He gave it to the Carlton bloke. Right. And he rang me up and said, look, you know, the other guy interviewed a bit better, and I thought, oh, that's a bit grim. Yeah. I'm a legend, I've had all these guns, you know. Yeah. And about two weeks later, he rang me up, he said, he's still in a job. I said, why? And he said, well, we gave the got job to the other bloke, but he's asked for more money than I'm getting, and so that's not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> so. I said, yeah, I'll do it. What I forgot to do was ask how much you get paid. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, so, and so, so we started there, which is about, I think 2000 or 99, yeah. same year, I think Goodsy and Jude and all those guys arrived at the club, so we started the job there. And so you've been through three coaches at the Swans, Ede, Ruse, and Longmire. I have. Can you walk us through some of the differences between the three and how you've seen the club evolve? Uh, the yeah. Um, Rocket was uh, Ede. Um, he was a, a great match, match day coach. He was yep. as quick as lightning mm. and innovative. He was difficult because he was extremely sarcastic. So right. he had a sarcasm and a tongue that if you couldn't go with him, yep. he could slaughter you. So yep. he was interesting to be next to in a coaching situation. Through the week, his application to training times was different yep. like other people to do that sort of stuff but without a doubt match day and innovation of the game at the yep. time in the in the late 90s and early 2000s he was um he was very good very hard on some of the young blokes yeah but I've, I've heard adam often say that you yep. know that uh rodney's early hard days and you know helped him make him the player he was when he, mm -hmm. he changed coaches, so I'm not on those criticism. But he, his times were interesting. Ruzi, well, I'd known Ruzi for a long, long time because yep. I was still playing when he started, and so I'd known him that time. So Ruzi's strength was in uh, man management. Yep. He was fantastic in that area, and we had a lot of success. But you've got to remember also that with Ruzi, that he had a couple of fairly decent lieutenants under him in. John Longmire and, yep. and Ross Lyon, yep. who were the perfect foil for, for Ruzi, and Ruzi could be Ruzi with his man management skills. He's really good at that. Mm. He's, got, he's great at making you feel responsible for an area and then taking it on. And yep. we've been friends for 30, 40 years, Ruzi yeah. and I, so we've gone back a long, long way and we've had a lot of laughs and a lot of time together. So he was. Um, yeah, he, I, I mean, we obviously had success, so I, I immensely enjoyed that time yep. with him. Um, and Horace? Horse? Yeah, Horse is, is, is different again, you know. Um, I've, I, I actually really enjoy my, the time here with John. And John yep. makes footy very, very simple. You know, he has very simple philosophies. Mm -hmm. um, he's very clear cut. Um, he, he makes it quite easily defines what he requires mm -hmm. from you and in particular the ruckman of the of the side he's yep. very simple in his um his what he wants them to do and, yep. and, and and their mandate he's also very quick to let you know when perhaps they don't do what he sees as, right. as, as their mandate and uh but once again you know i've had a long long time with john and um we have we have a lot of laughs at outside footy how much longer do you have left in here uh, coaching, coaching, of course. Uh, I've got some challenges in business that we're going through at the moment, so yep. um, I'm not quite sure. You know, it's it's. Um, I always say that's it, and then another Naismith and then Curvis come along. You yep. think, gee, I'd like to help get these kids up. So it seems to be a never-ending uh, role at Coast. I'm not quite yep. sure, Michael. I mean, we take each year as it comes. I mean, you nearly killed me. <laughs> Heart attack. Well, you've been. A real drain. I mean, you've been in a bad mood for five years to start off with. <laughs> I had to deal with that every day. 
<laughs> I've had to listen to you whinge and moan and tell them how you're not happy that you're fifth rate ruckman. And I'm, when I was going to talk to you for three years, <laughs> so you drove me insane you know, with that. So you, in actual fact, you've, you, you're, you've worn me out. <laughs> <laughs> well, it takes two to tango. I, I can't imagine. How many times do you think we've, we've got to quarter time and my career's been on the line? I times? have said that to a few times. times? <laughs> <laughs> have I? Oh, you said <laughs> two years that one. You don't remember it. So yeah, only, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Times. Do I say that? Your yeah, career's on the line. <laughs> a few times. That's only about seventy games. <laughs> 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 oh dear. Oh, I'm not gonna use that line anymore. <laughs> I used to use. You know, do you want me to take? Do you want me to get you taken off or subbed off? Yeah. You know, leave me alone. Leave me alone. No, no. I'm telling you, I've, we've had some funny conversations, yeah. but. You know, it's a <laughs> I didn't say that. Your career's on the line. Mate. <laughs> I'll a couple of times. It's <laughs> just a few. <laughs> I'm more likely to say my career's on the line if you don't get going. <laughs> uh dear. No. I, I, yeah. probably go, they probably go hand in hand. They probably go hand in hand, mate. I've been synonymous with your career, which is, all jokes aside, has been uh, yeah, been a great journey for, for a whole heap of reasons, you know. Um, you know, my early days with you were a real challenge. It, I mean, it, this is not a feel-good session, but you were you remember, such a challenge. Do you remember that first day that we had training out on uh, Lakeside and you lined all the Ruckman up? Do you remember what you said to me? <laughs> Go on, bring me undone. What did I say? Jolly, jolly number one. <laughs> uh, yeah, you had us. You said, Darren, you sit here, stand here, <laughs> Curry there, White, um, Jake, so, Jake O'Reel. Jake O'Reel. And Pike over there. And you had us in line. Oh, did I? And I oh, did I? <laughs> and I think... I put I your fifth? If I remember, it was King next in line. King? King. To Darren. Darren, you're King. Right. Oh, King, yeah, right, right. You're King. Um, Curry, next in line. All right. White, could be great. Oh, God. Jake O'Reel. Jake O'Reel. Jake O'Reel. Jake O'Reel. Jake O'Reel. Right. You're pretty far off. Right. Mike, no chance. No chance. No chance. No chance. Did I really say that? You said it. I was only said as a motivational tool, Michael. That's which right. Could, that's which I didn't need with you because, uh, you, yeah, you used to get a bit angry at things like that. I, 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 um, yeah, you, I mean, I've had a million blokes, not a million, I've had lots and lots of ruckman over the years. Let's not go down this path. This, this isn't about me. Anyways, mate, you've been an incredible servant to this club. You've had a huge amount to do in my career. I really appreciate it. Everyone loves having you around. Thanks so much for coming on. Good fun, mate. Cheers, mate. See you, mate. Cheers.